Here's Brody Brazil. You look at their four games since the Christmas break. Now, for the Sharks, Christmas break this time meant 12 days off. Not the 24th, 5th, and 6th like normal. 12 days off. They missed two games before the break. They missed the first game coming out of break. And since then, the Sharks have played four times. They've allowed six. They've allowed seven. They've allowed eight. And they also allowed two to the Flyers. Now, in that game, and everybody's looking back at that game, as they should right now, and saying the Sharks played pretty well. Yes, they played Philly close. They played Philly tight in that game. But it was really a 3-2 game down the stretch. 5-2 was the final score. If I'm correct, weren't there two empty netters in that game? Isn't that how we got to the little bit of the bigger cushion and, and final score? It, it was it was a convincing win. I'm not I'm not taking anything away from that game more than a week later. What I'm here to say is that that's been the lone bright spot. And even that wasn't, you know, a one-sided drubbing by the Sharks. And that's the one game since the Christmas break where, where they've looked really good. Other than that, 8-7 against the Desert Dogs. But you can write that one off. 8-7 in a shootout, by the way. And didn't they have a, a late 7-5 lead? Yes, they did. But yeah, everybody was rusty coming off a dozen days with no games and, and Christmas and some guys just returning from COVID protocol. Fine, that was that is what it was. And you're you're allowed to have that as your first game back. Then Philly, they played. Yeah, they look good. I mean, didn't win by a ton, but look good. That's fine. And then you start this road trip where the Sharks have unfortunately made it a theme to allow big periods and again, Detroit scoring in all three periods. Uh, just a really messy effort by the Sharks. And, and I think if you're looking at different breakdowns on this, if you're looking at different perspectives, I thought Brent Burns, you know, and he's trying to weave the words here best as possible without throwing anybody under the bus, but also trying to be accurate and trying to really um, share his thoughts. You know, it, it does seem like defensively, and that's that's the issue right now, defensively the team is almost putting each other in different bad spots, you know, like one person's mistake makes another player look really bad uh, or two other players look really bad on a three on two or a three on one or whatever. So I, we're not even, this would be simple if it was one issue for the Sharks right now, if it was one thing, all right, this isn't going well and that's costing them. What honestly can you say? And I would love to see the comments. We'll dive into those in a second. But but if I'm if I'm here to diagnose, can you even narrow it down to one thing with this team in the last couple of games? And the other thing about it is that if the Sharks were struggling this much from game one and day one, you'd say, oh, well, this is just who they are. But see, that's the thing. I don't think what you've seen since the Christmas break, I don't think this is who the Sharks actually are. 